What's up YouTube? Welcome to Days Gabe, your host Gabriel. Quick video today to show you guys some of the maintenance work that is involved when you're over the road with a semi truck. Uh, a couple things I'm going to cover today are how I keep a barbell with me out over the road uh, and the uh, bumper plates, uh, emptying of the air tanks, windshield wiper blade replacements, uh, topping off the windshield wiper fluid, and uh, I think that's all I've got for now. Um, I've got some time ahead of my uh, next pickup. It's going to be a dry load, uh, picking up here in Atlanta. The weather is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I just took a shower inside. I'm at this Petro, and it feels like a mall inside. I mean, it's nice and busy. Uh, it's almost like COVID is a thing of the past. Uh, you've got people inside, friendly faces, uh, people talking to each other. And uh, again, the weather is just, it, it, I needed this, especially after being up in Maine uh, by the Canadian border. Uh, it wasn't very cold, but there was a ton of snow on the ground and um, it was rainy and cold. So it was kind of exactly what I expected Maine to look like. Uh, everybody was super friendly up there. Uh, the trip down here was kind of a, a slow, uh, a slow going which was nice because you know I want to save some some uh, fuel uh, but yeah let's get to this now as you can see here I'm approaching the rear of the tractor and where I keep the load locks that's where I keep that barbell now that's a 45 pound uh, standard Olympic size barbell um, with a two inch ring it'll accept standard size uh, weights i'm gonna go ahead and open up the storage underneath the bunk and i've got here two 45 pound bumper plates i've also got a set of four 10 pound bumper plates that i use to uh, increment the weights now i'm approaching the driver's side door i'm going to open up this battery access and i'll show you guys where the vent there's a ring that uh, is attached to a cord and you, you can pull that cord and it'll empty the the air tank now I learned this trick from uh, trucker Crespo and what I do is I attach a bungee cord with a hook to that ring as you can see here there's that bungee cord it's already attached on the other end I'm gonna stretch it out and attach that basically anywhere that it'll stay and I'm gonna leave that to uh, empty the air tank I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood by releasing the driver's side latch kind of have to get in there and make sure you unhook hook that latch I'm gonna go around to the other side passenger side there's a latch on this side as well make sure that gets released then I'm gonna walk over to the front of the truck now this uh, deer guard is uh, one of the older kind that uh, primes got on their trucks and so I'm gonna take that pin pull out the second pin what I like to do is I like to set them on the steps and I place them on the step to make sure that I don't forget to reattach them. I'm gonna walk right back up to the front and I'm gonna pull that deer guard away from the grill, walk over to the driver's side, and then I'm gonna push that hood open. I'm gonna be careful to make sure that I'm a bit gentle. Uh, you don't want to uh, let things fall or slam and there you got it again while that air tanks being emptied I'm gonna walk around with some windshield wiper fluid to top off what I've already got in there you'd be surprised how much you use 
out on the road um it's a huge windshield uh you just want to be careful and uh keep after it because when you don't have uh when you don't have enough uh fluid in there i mean th the grime really does build up uh things can get really difficult to see and that's the last thing you want um when you're when you're driving on the road no matter what you know whether it's a car semi truck etc I'm pretty sure that the reservoir here for the windshield wiper fluid is at uh, two gallons. Um, I've been able to fit two of these bottles when it's completely empty. Sometimes I'll throw some alcohol in there. And what I mean by alcohol, I mean methanol. Uh, that's the rubbing alcohol that you'll buy in bottles. It's not the, <laughs> the consumable kind. It's not a beverage. Um, it's, uh, it's methanol, not ethanol. So uh, what it does is it helps it prevent freezing especially when it gets extremely cold now with the engine back on to refill the air tanks i've got up on the driver's side tire using a course three point touch make sure you got your gloves uh safety first and uh removing the old windshield wiper blade and popping on that new one it's got like a little latch you just flip it open make sure it's uh, right side up and then uh, you place it on there it's, it's real straightforward real simple um, and that's about it repeat with the uh, passenger side windshield wiper blade and uh, you're all set